Well, June is Pride Month, and although Denver normally boasts one of the biggest Pride celebrations in the nation, this year is going to be different. Pride Fest would normally be held this weekend, but this year it's going to be virtual. Jacqueline Quinn joins us now, and Jacqueline, the message of equality is especially important this year. Yeah, and that's part of the gay pride message. But during this time, it's hard not to acknowledge the calls for justice and the Black Lives Matter movement. So again, even though this is about gay pride, they also want to raise awareness uh, to call equality uh, for all. So this event, which is normally very large, brings in about, uh, about 500,000 people uh, downtown and raises a million dollars to the center, which helps the LGBTQ community. Uh, this year will be all virtual. You'll have the virtual parade, virtual entertainment and even a virtual 5k to really raise that awareness and support their cause so we talked with rex fuller who is ceo to the center the organization that puts on pride fest and he talked to us about uh, this conversation about equality in light of what is happening in the national spotlight we do have a substantial uh, lgbt community in denver um, I think that many people come here from rural places, so as an urban center, we do attract a lot of people from uh, the rural parts of our state as well as neighboring states to be able to find community. I think that you can see um, through Pride Fest really the incredible diversity of our community, that we really include people from all segments of society, and we really want to celebrate all those segments of society. And he says that inclusion really could help to heal some of the hurt that's going on in the community. Now, this year's theme is actually uh, We Rise, Together We Rise. And that uh, they decided this theme before COVID-19, before some of the protests that we've seen recently. And they really do hope that the community will answer this call. For now, reporting in Denver, I'm Jacqueline Quinn covering Colorado First. Definitely a fitting theme for this year. Jacqueline, thank you.